This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to more Miles Edge Warface Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path, everybody. We're continuing with the Forgotten Turnabout, Case 4. We're still in the middle, Part 2. I can't mm. remember if there are three parts or just two. Let's know. continue. Francisca was about to testify about oh, her right. logic okay, okay. before we had to end. Yeah. The victim used her keycard and entered this room with the culprit. Then, the culprit stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra, killing her. Shouldn't the letter make it obvious who the culprit is? Of course, the crime scene was right here in this room. The PIC meeting room. No. There's a contradiction. The proof is in the bloodstain we found in the meeting room. That settles it, Miles Edgeworth. Well, that's an easy one to debunk. Miss Von Karma seems really confident, doesn't she? Ah, see. She's a fiery one, isn't she? I don't mind a feisty cutie. So how about an introductory hug? <laughs> how repulsive. Well, Miles Edgeworth, can you break my logic? If you truly have no intention of stopping here, prove it to me with evidence. Very well. I'll show you, Francisca. The evidence that paves my path. Nobody knew, but we were scooping around with the <laughs> scooper. Scooping? Scooping around with the scooper. This isn't Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. I don't know how that goes. Oh, wait. Is that the one that has, like, the weird baby? Yeah. That they have to- a circus baby. Let's see yeah. how she's doing. Yep. Was there nothing suspicious about the security system? The meeting room security is perfect, much like my logic. There's no room for doubt. Your logic isn't as perfect as you think. In any case, your opinion has not changed. Yes, the victim and the culprit entered the room together. Then the culprit stabbed the victim in the chest. I love the cross-examination music in this game. It's pretty good. Did the victim's wounds match up with the candelabra? The victim's chest was pierced in three places simultaneously by a sharp metal object. Is there anything else that could have done such a thing? That should all be written in Dr. Young's autopsy report. So you're sure that the murder weapon was the candelabra? Exactly! As for who the culprit is... Shouldn't the letter make it obvious who the culprit is? Do you have anything to confirm that the letter was actually sent by Kay? Are you proposing that it was forged by the real criminal? That possibility was dismissed some time ago. There was no traces of forgery on the letter. Of course, there were no other traces besides Kay Faraday and the victim found on the letter. Are you saying you found Kay's fingerprints on the letter? The only fingerprints we found belong to the victim. In other words, you can't really say that Kay is the culprit. Didn't I just say that the possibility of a forgery has been dismissed? That letter was originally sent by Kay Faraday. Therefore, it is only natural to assume that she is the culprit. Of course, the crime scene was right here in this room. Do you have any proof that the crime took place in this room? Avon Karma is perfect in every way. Perhaps you forgot that when you gave up your badge... I ain't no Von Karma. I'm an Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah. Have we determined who the blood actually belongs to? The blood analysis confirmed that it belonged to the victim. Just because the blood stain was found here doesn't mean that this was the scene of the crime. You forgot, Mr. Edgeworth, that in court everything... <laughs> evidence is everything. Everything is evidence. <laughs> everything? <laughs> My attorney's badge is evidence. Evidence is true. If you believe this room is not a crime scene, show me the evidence that proves it. Evidence that shows where the crime took place. We may not be in court, but I'll show her the truth. Miss Von Karma isn't showing any openings. You, okay, you're literally just giving her the K voice. Well, but that's what the K voice is too. That's the no, problem. No, no. How, Emma's how voice is Emma different? Like, I, I mean, I can't do the voice right, because I'm like, a dude. Right, but like, how was the inflection different? I don't know what that word really means. Inflection means, like, how you basically form sounds and words. You're giving Emma a higher-pitched voice, which oh, is what... Oh, she's lower? She's well, a little lower. Well, I was lower. doing that because you said she sounded really bored. Yeah, bored, not, like, deep. You, okay. She was just like, uh-huh. Miss Von Karma isn't showing any openings. 
Yeah, like the any openings. Any openings. However, there is one fact we know that she does not. They're not the only ones who can perform scientific investigations. And therein lies the proof. The path to the truth that I found. The victim used her Yeah, yeah, card. so you found it. I found it immediately. PIC room. No. No, no, no. But see, this is easy. Hey, that's right! Doesn't your testimony contradict with this piece of evidence? You would do well to think things over yourself before questioning others. But that's right! Maybe we have a diff the wrong piece of evidence. No, <laughs> that's... For the record, my answer is nay. No! Did I guess that was wrong. wrong. Is it seriously the next statement? What are you doing, Miles? You're turning Franny Pie into Fifty Shades of Rage. I would watch that instead. <laughs> before that whip hits you, you should hurry up and yowza! <laughs> Foolish words will only result in 50 shades of pain. That's more what the vicious shades of grey is like. I should settle this before Mr. Shields ends up as 50 shades of maimed. Nice. Crime scene. I bet it was this Purpose instead. Of the blood stain. Yeah. Wow, that's dumb. <laughs> should work on both, but whatever. If memory serves me correctly, the blood in the meeting room was found in front of the statue of Lady Justice, was it not? To murder someone before Lady Justice. This culprit knows no fear. I wonder about that. Have a look at this piece of evidence. Blood was found in the storeroom right above the meeting room. As you can see, there are signs that it has dripped down onto the floor below. And right under the hidden lift is... The statue of Lady Justice! Then you understand. The murder did not take place here. The killer murdered the victim in the storeroom and then moved the body to this room. What Lady Justice witnessed was a coward trying to conceal their crime. And not the moment of the murder. She's smiling. Pardon me, I just remembered a conversation quite similar to this one. As I expected, Miles Edgeworth, such naivety couldn't possibly be an act. Just how is Mr. Edgeworth naive? Youch! Have you forgotten, or are you just playing the foolish fool? The amount of blood in the meeting room is clearly greater than in the storeroom. Ugh, please don't just hit me and then ignore me. Yeah! Such a large amount of blood couldn't have simply dripped from the floor above. And even if it had, there should have been much more blood left behind in the storeroom. She's got a point. The murder could not have occurred anywhere other than this meeting room. <laughs> You're as predictable as always, Franziska. W what The difference in the amount of blood is just as you say. The question is, why does such a difference exist? That issue is trivial. I've already explained it with my perfect logic. In that case, how do you explain the blood that was found in the storeroom? I don't suppose you're going to tell me that it somehow sprayed all the way up there. Like a water fountain? No way! Exactly. It's impossible. In other words, the reason for the difference in the amount of blood is... The amount of blood in the meeting room and the storeroom are different because... The weapon was pulled out here, she was stabbed here, or she was stabbed in the storeroom. When you pull out the weapon, does it make a lot of blood? Yeah. I feel like it We've been the over weapon that was before. probably pulled out here. The victim died of a stab wound. Naturally, there would be a significant amount of blood loss. That's obvious just from looking at the blood stain. But that's so weird! She was attacked in the storeroom, but there was less blood found there than- <laughs> Silence, you third-rate prosecutor! But but I'm the best! <laughs> this is why it's good to have her back. Just because the best is getting, like, smacked upside the head so much. I feel a little bad for him. I don't. He's been such a pain in the butt. I mean, he has, but still. He doesn't deserve physical abuse. Do you know yeah. when- he Did you just- he, he I thought doesn't. you were about to be- I don't know about that! <laughs> no. Do you know when you lose the most blood after getting stabbed with a sharp object? We've it's been like, over this before. It's like when Hermione, like, punches- um, Draco. Draco in the third movie or whatever. You're just like, that felt good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I know. It's when the sharp object is pulled out, right? Precisely. After being stabbed with the candelabra, the body was moved to the meeting room. And then the murder weapon was pulled out right here in this very room. That would account for the difference in the amount of blood that was left behind. But why would the culprit go through all of that trouble? 
most likely to give the impression that the murder occurred in the meeting room. It seems Miss Crane's keycard was used last night, but based on the time of use, it must have been a ploy by the culprit to mislead us. In all likelihood, it was the culprit who used the keycard to enter the meeting room. Why would the culprit have needed to do that? Perhaps they feared that the storeroom would be found out during the investigation. If they were involved in the auction, they would not have wanted it to become public. Meeting room blood data jotted down in the organizer. The auction, you say? Perhaps you should go upstairs and see for yourself what items are Actually, on display. Actually, that might be why Francisca's here. Because we were kind of like, Francisca, like, Franzi, what the heck are you doing here? And she's like, I have my reasons. Oh, maybe. Because she's been, like, investigating this, like, smuggling ring thing, mm -hmm. right? Maybe right. she had, like, ca caught wind. I mean, if a lot of heart got her hands on some information that they're just, <laughs> Yeah, Interpol probably market, did. Then Interpol definitely did. I'm sure that will allow you to understand what occurred here. <laughs> Impressive, Miles Edgeworth. You're willing to go that far to protect her? There's something big lurking behind the scenes of this case. Kay simply got caught up in it. You're exaggerating. Am I now? More than anyone, I would think you'd understand the significance behind all this. Why would you, a prosecutor working with Interpol, be involved in a domestic case? Wasn't your objective to crush a certain international smuggling ring? If your search for smuggled goods has led you here, then isn't this feeling I have related to the case? I'm relieved. You haven't lost your touch even though you've turned in your badge. I've heard about your situation from Scruffy over there. Ah, um, sorry, sir. I just wanted to help out somehow. A wise decision, detective. Franziska, are you the one in charge of this case? Isn't Interpol pursuing the black market auction? And what if I am? That's not something you need to know. So, you knew about all this from the very beginning? You knew the black market auction was being held. Right here. Hey, hey! Mind if I butt in? About that gal who turned up dead. You! Hey! I ain't done talking yet! Ah! You ain't changed the lick! Because they've been in the same right. case. Yeah. <laughs> this case doesn't need even a fragment of your faulty testimony. What are you saying? I'm a bona fide jur- ah! Back then, you gave false testimony. Miss Von Karma seems to really dislike Lotta. I can't say she's fond of her. Ain't that crane gal one of them PIC members? She's the spitting image of the conductor. I reckon she's... Yeah! She hit me! She hit me again! What is the meaning of this? Answer me, Miles Edgeworth! From Miss Hart's testimony, we obtained a description of what the conductor was wearing. And it matches what the victim, Jill Crane, was wearing. You mean to say, the one who was murdered was the conductor? M Miss Von Karma, maybe you should call- Yeah! She just whips everything. It would seem that a new fact has just been brought to light. Indeed, I came here in pursuit of the black market auction. In order to arrest the organizer of the event! In other words, the conductor! If we believe Miss Hart's testimony, then the conductor is already dead. Wouldn't this mean that your investigation has ended in vain? That's right. However, I swear on my name that I will not return empty-handed. You're giving her a little bit of the Courtney voice. I challenge you, Miles Edgeworth. That's better. A challenge is fine, but... but why? Courtney, Courtney is a bit more up and high, like this. Yes, that's true. Why is she readying her whip like she's out for a victim of her own? Because she is... Francisca's <laughs> Logic Part 2. I will concede your argument. The murder occurred in the storeroom, correct? That would mean the culprit is someone who has participated in the auction. If that photographer is correct, the victim was the conductor, and the culprit was the customer. The, cu the culprit waited for the victim in the storeroom where the goods were delivered. Then they stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra in the storeroom. This is turning into Clue. <laughs> yep. That is all. I trust you have no objections. Unfortunately, that is not the case, because there is a hole in your testimony. As expected of Mr. Edgeworth, I didn't notice anything at all. Well then, please settle this with one blow. Yes, of course. Watch as I crush her logic.
crush her. Rebuttal. I still think that they modeled that statue of Courtney. <laughs> they were like, we need to make a really good statue for the PIC. She's like, well, I have the perfect model. <laughs> <laughs> you are surprisingly quick to concede. I simply cannot deny facts that are backed by evidence. That is all. You have proven that the murder occurred in the storeroom. Do, 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 do. The culprit participated in the auction. I'd like to hear your basis for this claim. When I spoke with the staff of this building, not a single one mentioned their storeroom. The storeroom existence must have only been known to a select few. And that's where the items for the auction were being stored. I see you understand. Yes, the culprit participated in the auction. If that photographer is correct, the victim was the conductor. Do -do -do. So, you're saying that the victim was the auction's conductor? Right. And the culprit? Hey, ain't you the one who told her that just a moment ago? Yes, that's right. However, I was simply making sure her logic is clear. That ain't right. She's doing it wrong. This is the part where you're supposed to say, I done goofed. The culprit was a customer participating in the black market auction. What in tarnation? Now you've done it. Don't cover for him. Of course. That is only if this photographer's testimony is indeed true. I can't tell whether they're on good or bad terms. The issue here is the culprit's actions. <laughs> Francisca might hate Lotta more than you. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Francisca in this? I don't remember. 19. Like, Dang, bro, she's my age. She's so... Ow. <laughs> Miss Hart was in the storeroom at the time. Could the culprit really have been waiting there? Objection. Objection. I don't know where she was hiding, but since you've seen it, you must know as well. There are numerous hiding places in that storeroom. I, the thought that randomly just occurred to me, I'm like, because I'm just like, Francisca always wears this outfit. I can't imagine her wearing, like, street clothes. <laughs> She's just wearing, like, um... What would her- if she- if Francisca was gonna wear street clothes, what would she be wearing? Like, casual outfit Francisca? Yeah, casual outfit Francisca. She's, like, in her mm. house with her coffee, like, watching the news or whatever. What- what is she wearing? I don't know. I think she would I don't be... know female fashion at all. Oh, um... I I'm just like, like, oh, that she looks would good! still wear- she has, like, a very fixed look. I think she would still wear, like, say, the jewelry on her ears. But I think she would wear, like- you know those, like, dressy sweaters that girls wear? Where it's, like... Like turtlenecks? Mom... Yeah, it could be a turtleneck. But it's, like, tighter and, like... <laughs> she wears like... the Yuri sweater. <laughs> yeah, she would literally wear that and probably, like, either dress slacks. Maybe different color. Maybe a different color. Dress slacks Yoga or pants. <laughs> yoga... Can you imagine Francisca in yoga pants? No, yeah. I can't, actually. Yeah, sure. So the culprit was hiding while they waited for the victim to arrive. She needs to take yoga. <laughs> I believe the crime occurred after the auction ended. After all, the victim was the organizer of the auction, the conductor. During the auction, the organizer would have had to have been in front of the customers the entire time. After the auction ended, please add that statement to your testimony. It'll be the one we have to press. I believe the crime occurred after the auction ended. The victim was killed after the auction ended. Are you certain of that? The victim was the conductor. That is the only possibility. Without the conductor, the auction couldn't have been held. The auction couldn't have been held. Something seems odd in this testimony. As I said, Justine and Jill. Justine they're, and Jill went up the, the hill. Yeah. To fetch and then they water. decided to kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that great kill kids book, guys? <laughs> the candelabra in the storeroom. How do you know that? If the murder weapon had been prepared in advance, the victim's chest would have been stabbed with something completely different. Based on the culprit's actions, it's clear where the murder weapon came from. There were signs suggesting that the candelabra was once placed in the storeroom, too. The items in the storeroom were intended to be sold as goods in the auction. Although, where the murder weapon was pr procured from is not the main issue here. At first glance, her logic seems to hold up, but something just doesn't feel quite right. I'll need to draw out more information. Dun, dun, dun. It's 
not right because there is... Didn't want to say... Auction continued even after her murder, yep. She's gonna be like, Lada's not trustworthy. Yeah. She's lied in court several times. I would agree with her. As I thought, you are one step behind. <laughs> one jump, and the bomb man. <laughs> what did you say? I hate that song. <laughs> the victim was not the conductor, and I have proof. Miss Hart's testimony. That photographer's testimony is not trustworthy. What are y'all saying? I'm a bona fide journal- Ow! Cease your idle chatter! Yeah! Franziska, calm down and listen. <laughs> Miss Hart witnessed a part of the murder. The main point here is that after witnessing the murder, she says the auction continued. That's right. Sure as can be. They all just kept going on shamelessly. Do you think the auction could have continued without someone conducting it? If the victim was not the conductor, the person killed must have been a customer. No! And then Justine walks in. As I said from the beginning, Kay is not the culprit. After all, she herself was attacked by someone and lost consciousness. It's gonna be like a triple triad. In which case, that would also make her a victim. Triple triad. You're in triple triad territory or whatever. Uh -uh. No, I'm like, but there must have been like three things happening at once, right? Because they've got the, um, well, Kay gets hit, falls down, ba-bam. Ba-bam. Then, from there, it's like, I'm wondering, okay, how old is Kay? Organizer. Um, 16, I think. 16? All right. Or maybe 17. There is a, oh, wait, there is a chance. 17. 17, all right. There's a chance that she may have, like, killed someone. One of them. Accidentally. Kay accidentally killed Jill? Yes. Either Jill... Or, well, Justine's alive. <laughs> yeah, um, we've seen her. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, who's around. What have they done? I'm just kind of waiting for a character to come in where it's like, <laughs> you know, where it's like, Hi, I'm in a wheelchair and I can hide a word murder weapon under it. Hi, my name is Guilty. <laughs> it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> He's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If the auction continued at the after the incident occurred. Yes, and the victim was not the conductor, but a customer. Hey, cruel Bay. That's enough. That voice. Is that that's enough? Is Who else Justine has a gavel? Courtney oh. Order in the court. The chairman will now enter. Oh boy. Chain smoker, hey, bro. My my, no need to be so stiff. <laughs> Actually, feel free to call me Blazy. Well then, Blazy, what brings you here? Huh? Well, well, I just wanted to see if my idiot son was working hard is all. Is this kind of father-son relationship really healthy? <laughs> no. His eyes are creepy as all get out. His eye he doesn't look like he slept in like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> or gone to the barber in 15 years. <laughs> I'd come to light a fire under you, but it seems like I found an unexpected bonus. To think that the criminal who has become the talk of the town would be here of all places. Everyone, restrain this suspect at once. Please wait. Kay Faraday is not the cold. Silence! This is quite troubling, Edgeworth. Didn't I tell you earlier? The PIC desires a swift resolution to this case. Yeah, you know why? Because the PIC is also with the black market, and they're doing some bad things. <laughs> the, co the committee that uh, like, exists to stop corruption is actually the most corrupt institution. Yes, it could totally be. <laughs> if it's not, we could lose our trust with the public. They'd call us the Waste of Time Committee. No one cares. You know... It's troubling for me as well, that sort of thing. And at my age, too. Okay, if, you're, if, you're, if you're old, dude, just, like, retire. Yeah. Okay, two things. If I see... I feel like most people nowadays don't really read the newspaper. They would, like, look online. Mm -hmm. If I see, like, whoa, there's a murder that happened at this... <laughs> there like, has been a murder! If there's been a murder at this building, like, somewhere near us, I'd be like, okay. Who cares? Like, okay. they're, they're, they're on it. They're fixing it. It's pro The business is probably shut down, and you don't really need to worry. Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, I wonder if the PIC is really bad, or <laughs> if they're really good. Like, no one's thinking about that. It's just kind of like, yeah. alright, there's a murder. We'll fix it. Right. Because if you turn on the news, 
Like, you can't tell me you haven't seen, like, at least 50 people where it's like, there's been a murder at this person's house, and then someone threw their cat on the on the fire, and the cat died too, and... <laughs> like, that's the news. Like, if you turn on the news, it's just, like, bad vibes. Well, it's a pain And the... beer commercials. And Orange Man bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And on top of that, an illegal investigation is not something that I can overlook. Have you forgotten? You are no longer a prosecutor. You have lost all your authority. Furthermore, you have aided a criminal in evading the law. Yes, yes, that's right. You're so reliable, Courtney. I am aware of the con consequences of my actions. You may punish me as you wish. However, we have found a new suspect. It's the person pictured here. Kay Faraday was attacked by this person and- Just in your butt. There is no need for your explanation. Just recently, a red raincoat was discovered in the vicinity of this building. The victim's blood and cherry blossom petals were found on the hood. That's totally planted. Like, I bet you the PIC, the paint in charge, like all of these- <laughs> Took a yellow yank raincoat, spray painted it red. <laughs> no, because luminol testing would confirm it. I think what probably happened is they were like, they saw Kay bleeding. She must have been there for a while if she was like bleeding and unconscious. Mm -hmm. They just took some blood and they're like, shh. I think they're this. talking about Jill's blood. That's also easy. They were here for so long before we even got here. They could have just been like, plant this thing here. Right. Yeah. Cherry blossom petals. Now that you mention it on the viewing platform. Yes. They probably stuck on due to the blood. They were littered around the blood stain. Then <laughs> we've received the forensic report on the blood, you know. There's no doubt about it. The person in that photo is the victim, Jill Crane. What? What did you say? Red raincoat data to got it down the organizer. Because the <laughs> what the build of the person looks like a dude. It doesn't look like a. Female. That's not evidence. Okay, but like legit, if you looked at that, I wouldn't be like, that's a female. Like, there's too. It much could muscle. literally be anybody. It could. Mm -hmm. Impossible. That would completely destroy the foundations of our logic. We had believed the person in the red raincoat was the culprit, and now it turns out that person is actually the murder victim. W wait. If that's the case, then the prime suspect would be... Miss Faraday, you met a person in a, rain in a red raincoat on the rooftop, did you not? Yes, I did, but... The person in the, rain in the red raincoat, I don't know why that's so hard to say, was the murder victim. And Kay Faraday came into contact with that person. Since one of the parties is now dead, what happened next should be clear. Kay was attacked by that person. As the victim, it would be impossible for her to be the culprit. There is no evidence she was attacked, is there? Furthermore, we must consider the possibility that the victim fought back. It's far too early to come to that conclusion. Kay is not the criminal. You're wrong. K Kay? That's wrong. Even though I don't want to believe it myself. After hearing about the raincoat, I finally remembered. Maybe they brainwashed her. Maybe there they... is no war in Bossin Say. Here we are safe. <laughs> I only remember a little, but from what I saw that night, the culprit is me. It's gonna be another one of those where it's like, um, <laughs> it's gonna be another one of those with the Edgeworth with the gun. He's like, did I kill this person? And then it's going to be and like then, nope. a facade thing. It's going to be. Nope, it was actually a lot of heart. <laughs> if, if it was Kay, I mean, she's 17. She'll she'll get out of jail. I thought you were going to be good. If it's Kay, that's fine. She's kind of lame. <laughs> no, she's 17. She would get out of prison quickly, right? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how Japanifornian laws work. I don't know either. I remember looking down at the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth, it was me. The culprit was me all along. That can't be right. Then why? Why do I have that memory? That person collapsed before my eyes! Engulfed in a pool of blood! Why didn't I do anything? It must have been because I killed her. It is clear to me the validity... Validity? Validity. Val validity. Validity. Validity of Kay Faraday's memory. Didn't you doubt it until just now, pal? Congratulations, Miss Farday. Your courage will surely allow you to be forgiven. 
Now, let us rejoice in the blessings of the goddess of law. That goes against my religion. Allow me to give my opinion as an international prosecutor. Her actions as a criminal are... Wow. Hurry! Arrest Kay Faraday at once! How dare you behave the way before me! You're being far too forceful. Further verification is necessary. I'd even go so far as to say that this is unlawful. Unfortunately, the law does not side with you. It sides with me, you see. But you know, the beautiful bond between you two has been etched deeply into my heart. Cool. That reminds me, we seem to have forgotten one additional suspect. Edgeworth, that's you. What's that, pal? Mr. Edgeworth hasn't done anything wrong. I beg to differ. That's right. You see, he's no longer a prosecutor, sadly enough. Your actions have gone too far this time. An illegal investigation and assisting in the escape of a criminal. I cannot even think of you as a per former prosecutor. Now humbly accept your punishment. Nah. Oh yes, that's right. I believe the plan for today was to hold your hearing before the PIC. Why don't we leave the hearing for tomorrow? <laughs> Even though the result is already crystal clear. <laughs> you should think long and hard about what you've done. Very long and very hard. Court is now adjourned. To be continued. Man, Courtney's butt, and... Courtney uh, is butt, not a butt. She just is the concept I of butt. I thought it came out as Courtney's butt, so... <laughs> Courtney's butt as well. That's worse. <laughs> That's worse? No, she sucks. The guy who... I can't tell if he's wearing goggles or if his, He's like, wearing eyes, pilot goggles. Yeah. Oh, so, like, his eyes are filling up so much with his tears. That he has to, like, He's douse. tear bending. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, my gosh. This is so annoying. Well, it looks like we're arrested now, so, uh... That's interesting. I wonder how we're going to investigate next time if we're going to be in jail. And my name is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> we call Phoenix Wright and then how it becomes... How would you call an ace attorney? <laughs> <laughs> That's not till the 3DS ones. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.